Hello, everybody. Konnichiwa. Spring has arrived. After a long period of winter, spring makes me feel much more active and bright with full of energy. What do Japanese who live overseas miss the most during this time? What do you think? We really, really miss cherry blossoms now. Symbol of spring in Japan, but also so much more than that. Many of my foreign friends visit Japan during Sakura time, which is now in early April usually, and I totally understand why. Sakura is everywhere in Japan, and it is just so beautiful. What do you think is floral emblem of Japan? Symbol flower of Japan. Of course, cherry blossoms. Sakura. Like my name, there is over 100 kinds of cherry blossoms in Japan. It also is used as design for our 100 yen coin and also 1000 yen bill together with Mount Fuji, another great symbol of the country. Most typical sakura is called Somei Yoshino. If you say sakura, it basically means this kind. What is so special about this tree? Flowers emerge before the leaves in early spring. You can see them very clearly without green leaves, right? They are fragrant with five cute petals in lovely pinkish white color like baby skin and the flowers grow in clusters of five or six together. Many, many, many on each tree and all at the same time. People in Japan wait for sakura over long winter and when the season nearly comes in March, they really check sakura every day. When it blooms, we even have sakura report during weather forecast on TV. This is how crazy we are about it. And not only recently, this excitement goes back so long. We keep record of exact day of sakura since more than 1200 years. There is a poem which is composed in early 9th century. Yononaka ni taete sakura no nakari seba Haru no kokoro wa nodoke karamashi If there is no sakura at all in this world, spring is too quiet to enjoy. Which simply means we all are super excited for sakura in spring. Once it blooms, we go visit the sakura. Everybody in Japan, no exception, has to be there wherever is the most beautiful and convenient. We are not just admiring aesthetic attribute of a flower, but we have a picnic party. I mean serious party. It's called hanami. We eat lunch from obento box, drink some alcohol, eat snacks, drink more alcohol, and drink more. Sometimes you can see people sing even with proper karaoke machine. It is one of the rare occasions that you see Japanese party really crazy and having lots of fun. We do with family, with friends, and very often with colleagues from work. It has been our tradition since time immortal. Essayist Kenko Yoshida in 14th century criticized that some person got too drunk at hanami party and broke a branch of sakura while noble people delicately admiring the flower. Over many centuries and regardless of class, we have this culture to have hanami party under the blooming sakura flowers. We all feel like we are all equal for this day. No difference if poor or rich. If you like to enjoy sakura, you need to go out. Why? Because traditionally, we don't have sakura tree planted at home. It is said in Fu Sui philosophy. Japanese believed that it is not auspicious to have a tree that grows higher than the roof of the house. It is logical actually. It can give too much shadow and strong roots can damage the house from underneath. So to enjoy sakura, you need to go to public places. 
like park, shrine, temple, or riverside. Sakura fascinates us over millennia. Is it just because of the beauty of the flower and fun drinking party? Knowing Japanese mentality by watching my YouTube channel, you can guess this is not all. Sakura blooms only 7 to 10 days. Springtime in Japan can be very windy and it rains sometimes. So the life of Sakura is quite short. After the bloom, it doesn't wither on its stem, but it just falls down. It looks like snowstorm of petals. It doesn't show how it dies. Its life ends all of a sudden. One day after full bloom, the only remains you see is the pink carpet of petals on the ground and the naked branches of sakura tree, stripped of life. This short, gracious, and ephemeral life of sakura teaches us a lesson. Life is short. Mono no aware. This teaching an empathy towards things originally comes from Buddhism. The feeling of a transient gentle sadness at their passing, as well as the awareness about this state being the reality of life. When we see things that don't last very long, we feel moved by their beauty with a little sadness. That's mono no aware. Samurai understand these thoughts, a sensitivity to ephemera. Their life was short. All they wanted was blooming beautifully to be recognized and then disappear with honor and grace. Bushido is one of the most famous books written about samurai and its spirit. You can see Sakura design on its original cover. And then this is the first line of chapter one. Chivalry is a flower no less indigenous to the soil of Japan than its emblem, the cherry blossom. Sakura is soul of samurai, and samurai soul lives in Sakura. Blooming beautifully is part of an empathy toward things. We are actually moved when the flowers are falling. It reminds us that we are mortal, and we need to honor the limited time given to us. Nature is beautiful, because we also know this. After all the petals are gone, the leaves come out, and it brings us new life. Traditionally, our school and business year starts in the beginning of April. Unlike in September in Western cultures, moving somewhere, a new place, Starting new life as student, new career, all starts with the blossoming of the sakura. Students take first picture under sakura flowers before entering school. I did too. Many people start their fresh life in the beginning of April during sakura time. Sakura is our teacher. The old dark trees teach us a lesson every year. We appreciate its beauty by admiring the flowers and getting drunk, contemplating life by seeing sakura falling. Then another phase starts. Let me introduce another short poem. Today in bloom, tomorrow scattered by the wind, such is our blossom life. How can we think? Its fragrance lasts forever. Life is short. Seize the day. We appreciate beauty, but we also know its time span is limited. Sakura tattoo is very popular, not only for Japanese, but also Westerners. I often hear questions. Is it too feminine for men to get sakura tattooed? Or even flower tattoo in general is not for men, right? For Japanese tattoo, it's a little different. If you think it is too cute for you to have sakura, it's maybe because you see flower only with your eyes. It's delicate and fragile existence shows all worldly things are transitory. As I have introduced samurai love sakura and they mirror their gracious life into it, men do appreciate its beauty 
and symbolic value. Sakura design is not only for women, but for everybody who appreciates nature and its profound elegance. What do you think about sakura? Do you like them? Do you have any symbol like this in your country? It was very poetic story today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe my channel. Especially having more subscribers makes me very happy. And it gives me a lot of motivation for more videos. Life is short, no time to have second thoughts. Enjoy your spring and see you on next video.